everyone, welcome back to Berean's Kingdom Kids. We're going to be starting a new series called How To. This is going to be going through practical living through James for kids. So today we're going to start with perseverance. Sometimes we just want to give up. Maybe you're learning to ride a two-wheel bike, and it's really hard. Maybe it's helping mom and dad with chores that you don't really like. Or even it might be homework. I know for me it's homework. A couple years ago, I had a class. It was a science class and it was super, super hard. We had homework every day. I had no idea what the teacher was talking about in class. And when I asked questions, it felt like it was in a different language. I wanted to give up. It was so hard. Sometimes when we feel like we want to give up, we should look at what the Bible says to encourage us to keep going. We're going to be looking at James 1.12. James 1.12 says, Blessed is the man who perseveres under trial. For once he has been approved, he will receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to those who love him. So let's look back at some verses around it to kind of see what this really means. Verses 2 through 4 talk about how the trials are actually a good thing, that they help us grow. 5.7 says that God will give to those who ask, but you must ask believing with your whole heart, which is something we talked about with worship last week. Verse 13 says that we're not tempted by God, and God does not hurt us or make bad things happen, but temptation comes from inside us because we aren't perfect. So now that we kind of looked at the surrounding text, let's look back at verse 12 and see if we can make sense of what verse 12 is trying to tell us to do. Well, it says, when we persevere and we follow what is taught, then we'll be accepted into heaven. And that sometimes when life gets hard like it did for me in that class, and we want to walk away and give up, we learn that we need to continue in our Christian walk, that we need to keep believing and doing good deeds, and we will be rewarded in the end. Maybe it's not a hard class for you. Maybe it's your friend group. You're a Christian and they're not, and they don't really want to be friends with you anymore. They start ignoring you, not hanging around with you. And it makes you ask, why should I keep going? Why should I keep following God when I want to give up? Well, James tells us that we need to keep believing, loving God, and doing good deeds and we'll be rewarded. Maybe it's your friends will slowly come around to God and you guys can all go to church together. Maybe you find new friends that believe in God. Maybe that reward isn't in heaven. Maybe it's now. For some, it might be you're the only Christian in your house and you see that mom and dad are really stressed out and you want to do something to help them feel less stressed. By doing good deeds and showing the love of God and following what's taught in the Bible, we can help our parents when they're stressed out. So you decide to help mom with doing some yard work or doing some chores and showing her the love of Christ, the love that Christ showed you. Whatever the situation is that makes you ask, why should I keep going when I want to give up? Remember that the Bible teaches that we need to keep believing in God as well as doing good deeds and loving God 